Anton Elge, Dimitar Bodurov. Yes. Goed om even te zeggen dat uh, ik had ook al vorig jaar, al die concerten van vorig jaar zijn te vinden op Bimhuis TV. Er staan hier naar cameraatjes ook. Vanavond is ook allemaal terug te zien op Bimhuis TV. Uh, en kun je aan je vrienden en vijanden doorsturen van ga dat bekijken, want ik was erbij. Gentlemen, thanks for your, for your set so much. Dimitar, what, did you, what drink did you order? This is gin tonic. This is the taste of the summer for me. So after a very long, dark winter, now we need summer. <laughs> very good. And Anton, what did, uh, what did you order? Brewerij thee. Broer Heitai. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, the question I ask everybody almost, uh, how was your preparation? Who should, uh, you are the, actually, the, you invited Anton, so um, did you send him all your charts, or what, what happened? Did you have phone calls? Um, well, we, uh, we had this one call in January, let's do this, great, uh, Anton agreed, and, uh, uh, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to write this music now, I'm going to get prepared, you know, and I'll, I'll send you some charts, and uh, those charts were not uh, coming, and, and then I was very nervous because Anton has a very big sound, and very, you know, uh, and un until yesterday when we met in the rehearsal room, I was, uh, okay, uh, what shall we do? We should try something. And I prepared this set. Um, and then <coughs> Anton prepared his drums. And I was like, okay, let's, let's make a sound check now and if it, just check if it works. And then there was 40 minutes. <laughs> so we, we realized that we can easily play 20. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was a completely improvised set, Anton? 
Yes, 100% uh, improvised. Nothing prepared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So, uh, Dimitar, you are originally from Bulgaria, and you have the uh, many musicians. They know the festival you you program in uh, uh, over there in Farna. Is it? Do you still? Is the festival still there? Can we go? You're all invited because this year is very special for us. Uh, we have 10 years anniversary. We've been doing a festival 10 years with my colleague, who is also here uh, tonight. And uh, Anton played at the festival in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was in the BIM house when I met Anton, when he played with Frunizis. And then we came to talk. And, and uh, I'm very happy that we made this concert uh, available. But yes, Radar Festival in Varna, uh, 10 years. It's in the summer, so take a chance. Do it. Ryanair, cheap tickets to Varna. <laughs> it's great. It's great. So w what, what is for you? Because you are uh, also your other festival that you had here for a long time with uh, pianists and drummers. What makes it for you personally a drummer, somebody you, you know, what should a drummer have for characteristic that you think, okay, that's, that's a match? Well, um, indeed, it has been more than 10 years ago when we had two editions here in the BIM house uh, of this very boutique idea, keys and sticks, duets. And uh, back then it was very interesting for me to, first of all, get rid of the bass player. Because then, then you have a lot of possibilities, you're not uh, bound with harmony, structures, whatever. And Somehow this, this has become like a genre of itself, duets, of dr uh, keys and, and uh, drums, and uh, it's very open, and that's what I really like, that uh, you have the freedom to explore, to uh, connect, and uh, you can go to many places. And, and what, what, makes, uh, what makes Anton different from other drummers? If you like, okay, what is, if you hear him, okay, that's typically, for Anton Eger, that is, I recognize him by this and that. What is his signature? I really like his drive. He has an amazing drive and it's really giving to the music, so it's not like sparing or waiting or he's really dedicated and his sound is very firm somehow. You yeah. can really recognize it in all the bands he plays. Yeah. And this level of energy is always there, which um, I really appreciate. <laughs> How do you do it, Anton? What's your secret to ha have this energy always? Broerlei, <laughs> Thai. <laughs> but what if there's no, what if you're not in Amsterdam? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good question. Well, I don't know. I, I, I guess um, not being afraid to, uh, to uh, go over the edge some, or close to the edge. Mm -hmm. And. Um, um, Push, push your boundaries, because uh, there's a lot of things that uh, are not well, prepared and or rehearsed, or but try it anyways. Yeah. And uh, I kind of g get a little um, excitement of, of that. Have you always been like that? Like that when you started out with, with playing drums? What was your the situation when you were drumming when you when you were young? What were you doing? That was more in punk bands and and uh, rock bands. Um, so I, but I guess that's that, that's a high energy uh, genre. So I have definitely taken uh, a lot of the energy from from that. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, and now you are more yeah, in jazz clubs. Not always, but uh, kind of. What what made you, you know, make this transition? I mean, uh, punk bands are much more fun. What is? <laughs> <laughs> Is it much more fun? Yeah. Well, you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> well, punk bands are fun, but it's quite limited. The toolbox that you have, that you can, the vocabulary, and I, I, and I guess that's why I, I love jazz music and improvised music. That you um, you kind of build up a vocabulary to be able to express yourself uh, a little bit more fine, yeah. just as a poet has a lot of words. Um, if we as musicians uh, create a, a, uh, an arsenal of, of different ways to express ourselves, then I guess we can express ourselves more freely um, 
in the moment and uh, more genuine and honestly. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Dimitar Budorov, Anton Eger. Yeah, take your drink. <laughs>